Good evening. Yeah, I'm late today. I've been out. All right. I want to talk about Norway and the United States. First, I have this story from Sweden. This is company selling tractors and cars. So they, every year, they send out this calendar to its clients with semi-naked women. This is an old tradition here in Sweden. It's sort of gone now, uh, but they still do it, right? Public Service News did a report on this, quite a long report, and they were outraged. This is despicable. Yeah. And the company said, well, we will keep doing it. It works. Our clients like these calendars. Yeah. And you know, I know exactly why media is shocked about this. And the, I suppose the cultural elite shocked. Yeah. Because they sort of created this world. And if anyone thinks differently than they do, there must be something seriously wrong. It's like these people are criminal. They don't expect people to think differently, you see. It's like people are not modern <laughs> if they don't think like these guys, media, cultural elite. Yeah, I th I'm sure they would be very surprised if they found out what people actually think in Sweden about subjects like this. Yeah. I mean, what's the problem? Uh, nice looking ladies. They get paid. Yeah. They look good. Calendar. Yeah. What's the problem? I don't see a problem. All right. Norway. Norway is not a member of the EU. But it sort of is, you see. They signed this terrible deal back in 94. Sweden became a full member, so that's even wor that's worse, of course. But Norway sort of stayed out. The Norwegians didn't want to be part of the EU. But uh, they signed this deal, which means that they send, every year they send tons of money down to Brussels. And they have to follow the rules, most of the rules that comes from Brussels. So, And, you know, Brussels turned into this monster... So now you see, I'm sure you Norwegians noticed, uh, Norway is losing its sovereignty yeah, thanks to this relationship with Brussels. Yeah. Now there's a chance, quite a big chance, this will change. And it's all thanks to the UK, I'm sure of it. See, um, People in Norway, they have been following what's going on in the UK with the negotiations with, with Brussels, right? And they realized, you know, we have a terrible deal. We should, we should do better. Right? And then there's a party, political party, and there's an election next year in Norway. This party is called the Centre Party. They want to change this. Yeah. They want to put a distance <laughs> between Norway and Brussels. This is exactly what you need to do. Mm. All right. And now th this party is the biggest party, according to the polls. So they are doing extremely well. Thanks to the support, this subject, this deal, this stupid deal, is important to the Norwegians. They don't like it. You shouldn't mess with the Norwegians. They are smart people. I know it. And they are strong. Yeah, so it's a very good chance Brussels will lose another member because this is what Norway actually is. It's a member state, yes, and it's all thanks to the UK, yeah. UK has inspired Norway, I'm sure of it, and this is what I wanted to happen, so it's a beautiful thing. Now, the guys in Brussels, they are, of course, nervous about this election. Yeah. All right. Oh, they have so many problems in Brussels. Okay. Uh, now, the United States. Well, I woke up last night at 2 a.m. And I had made up my mind. Yeah. You know, I've been in doubt 
for quite some time what was going to happen in the United States. I thought maybe this election will be forgotten. Biden will be the president yeah, and bring back the United States to this globalist agenda and more, I suppose. Uh, it would be terrible. So I thought, yeah, maybe this will happen. You know, maybe Trump doesn't have a chance. You know, what can he do? Anyway, so I woke up 2 a.m. I was, I was all excited. Yeah, so I couldn't go back to sleep. So, and this is what I saw. This happens to me sometimes. I don't talk about it. I tell my girlfriend sometimes. I see things. Yeah, I make up my mind. I see these images, you see. They are not like dreams or thoughts. I just see these very clear images. And this is what I saw. I saw, first I saw arrests. Yeah. People that are criminal, people that I don't like in the United States, some of them are arrested. Yeah. Maybe this already happened, I don't know. But that's what I saw. And then I saw chaos. Yeah, I saw two things. This chaos was uh, yeah, quite awful, actually. Well, this is not hard to predict, right? If you start to get people arrested, and then you see the reactions from mainstream media and the lefties, yeah. It will be a mess. Now this mess, if it happens, I'm not sure about this of course, but if it happens, this is exactly what we need. Uh, you can't lose in the, Ameri in the United States. You Americans, you have to win this. Uh, it's so important. Yeah. Uh, the, the future is unimaginable if Biden becomes the president. It's terrible. So, I hope I'm right. Yeah. Alright. That's all. Bye.